in a dimly lit chamber where the air hung heavy with the scent of dust and decay. There stood an antique metronome. Its wood was dark and polished, gleaming like the eye of some malevolent creature, and its pendulum swung with a rhythmic precision that belied the horror that it housed. Years ago, this very metronome belonged to a once celebrated composer, Victor Duval, whose genius was eclipsed only by his madness. In his fervor to craft the perfect symphony, he sought to harness the very essence of time itself, believing that within its relentless cadence lay the key to transcending mortality. His obsession drove him to experiment with arcane rituals summoning forces best left undisturbed. One faithful night, as the clock struck midnight and the shadows danced on the walls, Victor's fervent whisper summoned a presence, a specter of time itself, twisted and grotesque. In a pact sealed by blood and despair, he exchanged his sanity for the power to command the musical spheres. But the metronome, an instrument of order, became a harbinger of chaos. With every tick, it marked the descent of Victor into a nightmarish void where melodies morphed into shrieks and harmonies twisted into dissonance. Days turned to weeks, and the townsfolk whispered of the composer's demise. He was found lifeless at his piano, his fingers curled in a final silent scream. Yet the metronome continued its relentless ticking, each beat a taunt, a reminder of the horror unleashed. They buried Victor with his beloved instrument, believing it would lay to rest the sinister whispers echoing in the dark. But the metronome, cursed and relentless, found its way into the hands of an unsuspecting music student, Clara, who drawn by its elegant form, took it as a gift. Unbeknownst to her, each tick resonated with the sorrow of lost melodies and the rage of a tormented soul. As Clara practiced, the metronome's rhythm grew, a heartbeat quickening toward madness. She became consumed her dreams invaded by visions of Victor's tortured spirit, trapped within the very mechanism that should have served her art. Each night, the ticking echoed in her mind, a countdown to some dreadful reckoning. Clara composed feverishly, her melodies twisting into distortions, the notes spiraling into cacophony. On storm-laden night, driven to the brink, she confronted the metronome. With trembling hands, she attempted to silence it, but the pendulum swung wildly in an insatiable beast, the rhythm transforming into a malevolent laughter that filled the air with despair. It was then that Clara understood. She had become the latest vessel of Victor's curse, a conduit for his unending sorrow. With a final desperate stroke of the keys, she played, not for beauty, but for release. As the last note quivered into silence, the metronome's rhythm ceased, but not before an anguished wail erupted from its depths. The room darkened, Shadows coalescing, swirling around Clara, dragging her into the abyss that consumed Victor. The metronome now stands in its chamber, awaiting the next unwitting soul drawn by its allure. Each tick resonates with a haunting promise, a promise of brilliance, shadowed by the relentless march of madness, and thus... The cycle continues, echoing through the corridors of time, a spectral heartbeat, forever counting down the moments until another victim succumbs to its dark embrace.